This is verse 7 of the fifth chapter of the Gospel of John. Jesus is in the region of the pool that is there, mentioned to us in this fifth chapter, and he's encountered a man who has for 38 years been in an infirm condition, lying there beside the pool. Later texts of John include an explanatory note which was probably added by a scribe or a commentator as a marginal insight into the situation and somehow gradually made it into later uh, Greek New Testament texts that it was understood a kind of myth I suppose that an angel would occasionally descend from heaven stir the waters and the first person in would be healed that isn't part of the instruction of this text in fact the best manuscripts omit it but it still seems to lie behind the incident as described here especially as we come to it now in verse 7 in which we see apocryphe this is from apocrinomai deponent verb this is the third person singular aorist active indicative he answered auto speaking to jesus he answered ho asthenon this is from the word that we've already seen. It means infirm. This is a participle. So the one who was in a persisting state of being infirm answered Jesus saying, Curia, vocative, Lord, anthropon, accusative, singular, masculine for anthropos, a man, uk echo. So the anthropon is the direct object of echo. I do not have a man Hina, which takes the subjunctive, it's going to show up over here with vale, and then intermediately we have hotan. This is from terrasso. This is the word terakfe. This uh, terrasso uh, means to uh, uh, trouble, and so when terakfe, this is the third person singular, a passive aorist indicative so or a uh, subjunctive actually when uh, the water hoto, uh, hudor is troubled bale then again henna the subjunctive here to cast literally to cast me this is the uh, third person singular aorist active subjunctive to cast me ace tain columbathron we saw this earlier this is the word for the pool the root of it is the word bath as we noted before so he doesn't have anyone to cast him into this pool hin ho de in and then this is the relative pronoun uh, erkomai in the act of coming or in the time of coming as the idiomatically the sense while i am coming we would render it Ego, added to give emphasis, so while I am coming, alos, another, pro emu, before me, katabine. Uh, this is from katabino to go down, present active indicative. So while I'm trying to come, another uh, precedes me, pro, uh, reaches the water before me, and is able, apparently, at least impliedly, to get the benefit of this disturbed water before I'm able to capitalize on the moment myself. It does sound a little bit like some degree of resignation. The man has been able to make this excuse, of course, and for that reason he is giving himself a bit of morose comfort. He's probably given this uh, explanation to others along the way, and now as Jesus approaches him, this is more or less the rote response that he's accustomed to make, and he makes this to Jesus as well.